This mystery woman, call any Orange County police agency. At 6.35, two South L.A. churches were hit by vandals just weeks apart, and police believe it's the same people committing those hate crimes. This morning, CBS 2's Serene Branson shows us the damage. I think the person has to be very sick to vandalize the church. A pillar in the community, St. Mark's United Methodist Church, was hit first during the early morning hours of February 8th. Burglars broke through a window and spray-painted the words, Jesus is the man on the altar along with graphic images that we've chosen to blur. It was just devastating to all of us. It's a shock to all of us. John Morris is church council president and has been a member for 46 years. He was arriving for a men's meeting when he discovered the graffiti and that a drum set had been stolen. Church members are still reeling. The church was always safe. And uh, people would, uh, if you were in that kind of life, you would avoid the church. So I don't know what to think. The fact that the, the institution, the, the church, was actually broken into and messages uh, spray-painted on the inside on the cross itself uh, really, really changes the, the picture for us in, in terms of calling it uh, what it in fact is, a hate crime. Then on March 7th, South Bureau detectives say just three miles away, the Scientology Community Center in South L.A. was broken into as well. The vandals spray-painted hateful, anti-Semitic messages and stole property there too. Detectives feel the two may very well be linked. Same mode of entry, same type of vandalism. Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas announced a $10,000 reward from the county. Uh, we cannot ignore these sorts of acts. Uh, this is a sanctuary that was violated. Serene Branson, CBS 2 News.